Hello class. Today for science, we are going to review everything we've gone over this week on force in motion. Our target for today will be, I can describe the effects of different forces on an object. So let's begin. You guys remember about discussing force in motion. We have force. A force is a push or pull that acts on an object. When you kick or throw a ball, you push it to make it move. When you catch a ball, you move against it to stop its motion. Even if you don't move your hands forward, you use pull forces too. When you zip up a sweater, you pull the zipper. You pull on a baseball bat to lift it off the ground. Forces like these are all around you. So forces can change the way objects move. When an object begins to move, it is because a force has acted on it. When an object is already moving, forces can make it speed up, slow down, or change direction. You may not always see what is applying the force, but you can see the effects of the force. Think about a kite. By pulling on the string, you keep the kite from blowing away. You can see yourself applying this force. Then suddenly, the kite twists and turns in the wind. The force of moving air or wind pushes the kite in different directions. You can't see the wind, but you certainly can see the effects of its force. Forces are interactions between objects. Forces can make an object speed up, slow down, change direction, or change its shape. A push is the force that moves an object away from something, like when you push a plate away. A pull is the force of bringing an object closer. You guys remember all the examples of the pushes and the pulls? We got a push, a pull, a pull, and a push. And then Patrick is doing both. Then we have friction. Friction is the resistance of motion when an object rubs against another. Anytime two objects rub up, uh, rub against each other, they cause friction. Friction works against the motion and acts in the opposite direction. When one object is sliding on another, it starts to slow down due to friction. This means it loses energy. However, the energy doesn't disappear. It changes from moving energy, which is also known as kinetic, to energy to heat energy. This is why we rub our, uh, when we rub our hands when it's cold, by rubbing them together, we generate friction and therefore it creates heat. Then these are examples of friction. We got the car burning out. We got the drill making the hole. We got the little piggy rubbing up against the wall. And then we have the geese or the ducks sliding down the slide. Now the slide doesn't have much friction. That's why the duck is able to slide down so smoothly. Look at it go. Then we have gravity. Gravity is the mysterious force that makes everything fall towards the earth. It turns out uh, that all objects have gravity. It's just that some objects like the earth and the sun have a lot more gravity than others. Weight is the force of gravity on an object. Our weight on earth is how much force the earth's gravity has on us and how hard it is pulling us towards the surface. So here we have an example of weight a person standing on a weight. Then we have an example of gravity. This young girl accidentally falling from somewhere she shouldn't be standing and gravity is taking its place. If it wasn't for gravity, she would just hover there. Then we have magnetism. Magnetism is a force that can attract or pull closer or repel, which means push away objects that have a magnetic material like iron inside of them. In other words, magnetic objects. In simpler words, it is a property of certain substances which pull closer or repel other objects. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put on a video here for you guys to watch. Um, after the video, I'd like you guys to complete the review test. I hope you guys enjoy the video.